Uh, one of the things that stuck out for me on this last trip doing the water system, I hadn't really thought about it till it, we turned the water on and I wasn't expecting to feel that way, but once we turned it on, I, I just had a great sense of like, wow, you know, we've done this work and now they're getting clean water um, and they're going to be able to use this at the church and service the community and it, it just, it was a real neat experience when the water first went on and someone said, you know, we're making clean water, it, it just, it was really cool. The last time you had a glass of water, where did you get that water from? Did you get it from the faucet in your home? Did you have a glass of water in a restaurant? When you drank that water, did you stop and ask yourself if it was safe to drink? The reason I got involved with Living Waters is I'd been going on mission trips to Guatemala for a number of years. Uh, we were involved in the development of a uh, church camp uh, owned by a consortium of Guatemalan churches. And I noticed that um, all of the churches that uh, we were working with had uh, serious water quality issues and that they were in desperate need of, of clean drinking water for the people in the church and the people in the communities serviced by the church. I uh, did some research and found this organization uh, back in Mississippi called Living Waters for the World. Uh, we got in touch with them and our church sent a group of six people to go through a training program that they offer and we turned right around and the next month we went back to Guatemala and installed our first water treatment system in the camp that we were in the process of developing. Living Waters is a great organization and it provides clean water all around the world. And beyond that I, uh, I got involved so that I could, I could really become more in relationship and, and, and become more of a part of a community with the people here in my church. Over one billion people lack access to safe drinking water, and billions more have access to buy safe drinking water, but they don't have the resources to pay for it. As a result, they drink dirty, contaminated water, and they give that same contaminated water to their children, not because they want to, but because they have no other options. And they live most of their lives in a constant state of sickness. My husband started going to Guatemala several years ago on mission trips, mostly construction stuff, with the guys. And he came back with stories about the dreadful water that they drank. And then he learned about Living Waters online, contacted them, and we went back to a training. Woohoo! now I finally have a spot. Because I'm not good at construction, but you know what? They have a an education and hygiene component where the women get together with the Sunday school teachers and give them materials to teach to their kids about please don't put this clean water in that dirty bucket and this is how we wash our hands and we play games and we do scripture studies and it's so much fun and that I can do. Our mission is to empower local ministry partners to bring physical, social, and spiritual transformation to poor communities by providing sustainable, safe water solutions. Our vision is to see safe water provided in the name of Jesus to every poor community in the world. We really do need improved access to clean water, better health care, decent education, and living wages. But we need something far more profound. Whether we realize it or not, we are all longing for an intimate relationship with God, for a sense of dignity, for community and belonging, and for the ability to use our gifts and abilities to develop creation. Well, I think this experience, probably the main thing was just the joy in being able to give. And um, our lives have been changed forever. We don't take things, you stop and think before you use a little extra water, you stop and think before you maybe get something that you don't really need that maybe could help somebody else in that way. I think it's just getting down to basic needs and um, we felt like we really helped a group of people reach that need. Our partnership with churches is essential to the success of our mission. Churches are 
ideal locations for water projects because they are stable, trusted, and generally located right in the middle of their communities. The revenue the church generates from the sale of water sustains the operation of the system and goes right back into the community. In Latin America, people are often at odds with one another politically, but working together on clean water projects can unite them in a common purpose. More than 1.6 million children under the age of five die from water-related illnesses each year. That's one child every eight seconds. More than will die this year from HIV and AIDS combined. On the uh, final day in the dedication ceremony in which the indigenous folks uh, were sitting in the church and clear plastic cups were passed out to everyone and uh, the clean purified water was placed in each of these plastic cups and with 400 uh, uh, women and children and a few men in this church uh, we all uh, essentially had communion with a, a clear a glass of pure water uh, with a lot of singing and uh, smiles and uh, excitement and uh, it did bring tears to my eyes during this final presentation. Now some of you may be wondering, why should I become involved? Why should I take a week off work? Why should I pay my money to sign up for a team to go down and install a water system? And I think that the answer to that lies within yourself. God calls each one of us to action. We here in North America are blessed beyond the comprehension of most of the people in the world. And like Abraham, God tells us, to whom much is given, much is expected. And we are blessed to be a blessing to others. Our blessings do us no good if we pile them up in a safe deposit box or hoard them. But our blessings do a world of good if we freely invest them in the kingdom. Christ gave everything that he had and he expects us to do the same.